In 1985, when Heal the Bay was founded, the biggest source of pollution in the Santa Monica Bay was undertreated sewage from the wastewater treatment plant. And there we were out on the beach with this bullhorn now. That source of contamination, the sewage treatment plant, is now in compliance with the Clean Water Act. Unfortunately, that didn't solve all of our problems in the Bay. Lots of issues that the ocean is facing right now directly impact us as humans. Climate change, plastic pollution can cause dramatic disruptions. DDT, hundreds of tons of contaminated DDT. Poisoning the fish. Sea star populations on the west coast just disappear. And we're also in the middle of the sixth mass extinction. Overfishing, ocean acidification, harmful algal bloom, toxic chemicals, fish contamination, decimating wild populations. It's a large scale problem. These things are scary. But I have hope that we're gonna rise to meet these challenges because we know that we have the tools that we need. I'm a big believer in science drives policy change and policy change leads to action. And we're doing an amazing job at it. Heal the Bay is focusing on four core issue areas public health, climate change, biodiversity, and equity and environmental justice. Southern California's Beach Report Card is out tonight. Feel the Bay's annual report card. Giving letter grades to California beaches. The Beach Report Card and River Report Cards are tools for the public, so you can check those grades and see if it's safe to go in the water or not. Estos cinco pedacitos son los más contaminados con DDT, PCB y mercurio. Our angler outreach team has cards in multiple languages showing the anglers what fish is going to be safe for them to bring home to their families. El programa de Gil Bay se ha corrido desde el año 2003 y hasta la actualidad hemos educado a más de 180,000 pescadores desde nuestros inicios. This is Gil the Bay Aquarium. This is right underneath the Santa Monica Pier. This is a place where we get to educate over 10,000 kids a year. Over 70% of those kids are coming from Title I schools. Many of them have never seen the beach before. Teaching them about these local species, giving them the experience, the experience of interacting with them. The kids fall in love with these animals. The look on their face when they get to touch a shark. It's the experience that creates that sense of empathy. And that's what makes us so important. Water connects us all, right? It's like one of the few things that really connects every community. Heal the Bay is working to make sure that our communities are adapting to climate change in a way that is equitable and affordable for all Angelinos. We know that the work we're doing is effective because we see change happen. And we work to pass policies or laws. We've helped to pass Measure W. Measure W for recycling rainwater. And I'm so proud of the success around plastic pollution. The phase out of single-use plastics starts to seeing those successes is really rewarding. We're up against some massive challenges. But I'm hopeful because I work with an incredible group of scientists and policy experts. We're the ones you want at the table to work on these issues because we've done it before. And in many ways, Hill the Bay is magical, right? We show up every day knowing that we can make positive change for everyone, every community. And when you start small within communities and you expand and expand, that's how you get global action. Heal the Bay is here to make sure that future generations have all the opportunities to explore the things that make Southern California so special.